What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gary with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we are going to be playing a bit of a fun deck to start off this new season. I know the season's been a day or two old or something like that, but this is I think the first game that I've actually played on ladder since the season has reset. And uh, we're going to be looking to try and play this maybe a little bit differently than most people would. But I'm going to try and do one Inquisitor, one Bombardier, one Hex, and I guess we'll have to do two, uh, two Night Statues just, just because you, you need two Night Statues. But already, look at this board. Already look at this board. We got Puppeteer. I got Trainer in here. And we're just going to try and body some people with the double building, one in quiz. And also remember, during this faction, we are also getting our Knight Statues and our Inquisitors leveled up uh, through head hunting. So just keep that in mind. But if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also check out those memberships because we've got a lot of cool perks that I know you guys will enjoy, including... Uh, the ongoing raffle for you to get your very own Mallard mug. We're actually going to be doing the poll tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Very, very excited about that. And uh, and yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be kicking that off into gear. We got Puppeteer first. We've already got a pretty good looking board, and uh, the only thing we really need to do now is uh, make sure that Puppeteer doesn't move us around. Doesn't uh, well, we do have Bombardier also. If you're trying to run this deck, you could totally run it with Dryad instead of Bombardier, uh, Portal Keeper instead of Bombardier, um, maybe even like Harlequin instead of Bombardier. I don't know why you would do that, but there's definitely different methods that you could use to try and uh, accomplish the same. Well, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Are you serious? How did that move us? Are you kidding me? Guess I should have leveled up my Inquisitor here. But let's keep going, doing what we can. Try to get our Knight Statue, uh, a Knight Statue, back on an Inquis. <clears throat> hmm. Not the start to the video that I wanted. But you know what? We're going to do our best. We're still in the driver's seat. I'm gonna do this and this and see if I can actually level up. Oh, I missed. I missed! I'll do that just to try and help out with a little extra, you know. Uh, we'll go here. We'll go here. And we'll also go here and maybe we can... There we go. So now we at least have a rank 2... Um, Knight statue, so we can eat something. If we do get a knight statue over here, I can eat this one, and then we're okay. But I think we're still in decent shape. I really wish we could get a knight statue over there. Did he take a hit? No, he hasn't taken a hit yet. They're getting close, though, man. Come on. We're playing this so badly. He's also got trainer, so he should be able to protect if he needs to. Oh, there, there's a hit. Okay, and Warlock's going to be troublesome for him. And there is a victory. Not a great showing for us. I think we just bodied him with crit and card levels. Uh, level 7, yeah. I mean, his deck was kind of strange anyway. But I will take a win. A win is a win in my book. Oh, don't want to watch that. No. Cancel. How do I cancel? Close video. All right, let's jump back in. Continue, continue. Goodness me. Let's jump into one more game here. Or not one more game, at least two more games, and see if we can play a little bit better. So now he's rocking Blade Dancer. This is a good Blade Dancer deck. I like it. That is a great start for us. We got Tribunal first. Let's get our Inquiz up one time. We'll hit him with a good luck. Actually, it's Lady Am, so we'll hit her with a good luck. But also, if you guys want to catch me live, definitely stop on by our live stream we do it every friday at 11 a.m eastern standard time would absolutely love to have you guys there we're not going to be able to do it this week unfortunately i wish we could but uh this weekend i will be traveling including friday so 
uh, next Friday, next Friday. And we're still inching towards that 10K subscriber mark. So put down in the comments what you guys would like to see. I've asked this before and there's been a varying of answers. I am gonna be reworking the memberships uh, to kind of cater more towards loyalty because we have a bunch of people that have been members for over a year if and or near a year at least. And, uh, and I just want to make sure that, you know, the memberships are benefiting you to the best of your ability. But also anything else you guys might want to see. I've heard people talk about vlogs before, um, me doing like reaction type video, something for, for 10K subs. Let me know what you guys would be interested in. We can definitely try and do that. But let's start making some moves. I want to at least get... Um... Oh, come on. Where? Give me a scrapper, dude. This is actually okay. If we can find a scrapper. Huh. Really? Really now? Oh, my Lanta. Um. Okay. Not ideal. What in the world? Give me a scrapper. I don't have snowflake. This is a horrible start. If we just had one snowflake, we would have been fine. And now we've got... Oh, man. The mana's not going to be good. All right. At least we can do that. Let's just start combining everybody out, and I'll just, uh, uh, I'll just do this, I'll do that, I'll do that, there we go. Jeez, oh, and it's still gonna probably take away my Inquis, the only thing that I wanted to level up in the beginning. Uh, lordy lordy, oh, we got it back, oh my god. Gosh, we are the luckiest people in the world, and now we're okay. We are alive, and it gets leveled up. We're back in the, in the driver's seat, fellas. Back in the driver's seat. I bet you this guy's going to be, like, level 100 by the end of this. But we do have a Hex and a Knight Statue next to it, and it's Bedlam, and we've got Bombardier. I think we should be in the driver's seat now, uh, even though it was certainly a little bit ugly getting there. So that's okay. Let's try and use this time to just make our board look a little bit better. And once I feel a little bit more confident with my board, I'll start leveling up my Inquis and my Knight Statue, and then next wave after Bedlam, assuming that Bedlam is going to be taken out and I don't have to make a bunch of switches, then I'll focus more on my card levels. I think that's a pretty good strategy. Let me know if you agree. Let's try and just get one more... Uh, merge rank up of something. I'm hoping it'll be either the Inquis or the or the Hex, and then I'll focus my attention on uh, on card on card levels. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Almost taking this guy out. He's starting to have a little bit of a hard time leveling up my Bombardier. All right, whatever. Let's get our Bombardier up one. Let's get our Knight Statue up one. He's having a ton of trouble. Hit him with a good game. Like I said, this is very early on in my trophy pushing because the season just reset. So obviously it's not the necessarily greatest competition in the world that I've ever seen, but uh, could be worse. All right, so he's rocking Inquis, Boreas, Chemist, uh, Ivy. This gives me vibes of um, he doesn't have a bunch of support legendaries. I'll hit him with a good luck here. Is this a man? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, because if you have, you know, Harlequin, Dryad, Scrapper, Demonologist, uh, Summoner, usually that's what couples with Inquis, and you don't necessarily need all those extra damage units. But this is giving me vibes of, like, he doesn't have those units, so he needs that extra slow, extra, extra damage... Boreas and Ivy, you know, well, let's see. I'm talking a lot of smack, and I've, I haven't done anything yet. We haven't even shown off this deck's full potential yet. At all. Let's see, alright, so now we can do, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. Of course it's that guy. Alright, that's kind of fine. I'll do that. Oh, come on! Come on now! Don't do that to me, man. I'm actually going to fill my board a little bit and look to try and get a rank 2 scrapper because we're starting to get more scrappers. I want to combine those out. And we actually have Tamer this time, which is great because I'm not worried about Tamer ruining my board. So that's really, really good. So let's just continue to fill our board and just look to get a second tier or a, yeah, second tiered scrapper. That's our goal. So 
So I'm just gonna do a couple more here, and then I'll then we'll try to bust the move. I might even just hit my trainer here just to kind of help. Maybe he'll take out that boss and, and help us go back a little bit towards our portal. That would be pretty good. Let's do this, that. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Let's try and not have it lag because we want to have a good opportunity of doing that. And now we can go here and here and even go here. That was pretty good. I'll get my knight statue up one more time. And I feel like we're in a pretty decent spot. We want to get our hex either here or here. Um, and then we should be fine. We're taking this dude out super, super slow. But obviously we haven't leveled up our inquis at all until right there. And that's one of the reasons why this deck is so good that we, ha we haven't even shown off how good it is, really. Um, but genuinely, it is so good because Inquis is going to get leveled up on its own anyway. And then when you have a, a super high-ranking Inquis next to a decently high-ranking Knight Statue and a Hex, you'll just be astonished at how much damage it actually does. So let's just go here for right now. That's fine, honestly. I'm just trying to work towards getting that Hex nearby. I'll do that. I'll do that. I don't even want that Hex. Okay, that's fine. Let's, let's do our card levels a bit. It is a rank 2, so that's decent. We'll do our Knight Statue as well. We don't have a Hex on it at all, so uh, no use leveling up our Hex right now. I'll do that. He's got five Inquisitors. We've got Juan. Now he's got six. I'll just keep going here. There's a three. That's actually huge for us. I'm going to do my Inquis once, followed by my Knight Statue. And then I'm actually going to get my Bombardier up once, because we want to make sure he paws it, right? And I'm going to save my Trainer. Look at the difference in damage that Rank 3 just did. And I'm going to get my uh, Bombardier up because uh, we want to take care of Bedlam. And we're going to use our Trainer for when Bedlam actually shows up. Still digging for a Hex, though. Still digging for a Hex. As long as we can keep managing these bosses, I like the spot that we're in. He hit his Trickster right there. Didn't really do a whole lot for him. Leveled up our Bombardier. Let's start Trainer here. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem to take this guy out. Bombardier is actually super useful in this deck. I wasn't really sure what to throw in. I think originally I was just going to do Dryad, and then my next thought was do um, Portal Keeper. But then I was thinking, you know, they're going to get leveled up so quickly anyway from the Headhunting Faction buff. That Portal Keeper isn't going to be super useful later on in the game. So I might as well just have Bombardier in there to try and help that my, help me keep the board looking the way that I want it to look. That's pretty good right there. I mean, even with just the Knight Statue, you can see how much damage we're doing. But if we can get a Hex there, that'd be sick as well. Be even better. Puppeteer's next. Still trying. That Knight Statue's doing nothing for us. We should genuinely try and um, make sure that this Puppeteer we got to take out. We, we can't let Puppeteer move us. Actually, it could move us to the left and it would do essentially nothing. Move us to the right and it could essentially do nothing. Should I level up my units one more time if I get a chance? Might as well. Just to make sure we take it out. I think we have a pretty good chance though. I'll do my Inquis once. And maybe even our Bombardier will get a chance to get leveled up. That'd be huge. There we go. And he's starting to have a little bit of a tough time. See, if he had... Oh, he does have Bombardier. He doesn't have any Bombardiers. Oh, he has one. He has one. Never mind. Ignore me. Don't you dare move me, you bum. There we go. So now we've got a rank 6 in quiz on a Knight Statue. You're starting to see how this deck works. We still haven't had the blessing of a Hex next to it. But once we do that, that'll be pretty sweet. I mean, you could use this deck without Hex, obviously. If you do, it's pretty much the best deck, right? Except maybe the Blade Dancer deck right now, because it got buffed. But also, one other thing I wanted to mention is, we're getting pretty close to me leveling up my Inquis. And I would absolutely love that. That would be really, really cool. So one of these days, we might be able to get that in a video. So he ended up did he did end up taking out Puppeteer. So good on him. Do that. Ugh. 
Okay, I guess we'll just do um, Night Statue here. I don't think really it's going to matter what happens in the rest of this game. I think we're pretty set to win. But you never really know. Okay. Ugly. He's getting pretty far. Oh, he does have a decent looking board though. Hit Trainer now. Trainer is awesome in this deck because it really just focuses in on that extra damage. We've already got a max Knight Statue, a max Inquiz. We've got no mana. That Warlock is just going to absolutely assault his board. Not ideal. I mean, it's ideal for us, and the slow actually helps us. I mean, it is a good game, but you're not going to lose right here unless you quit. So, realistically, I'm not going to hit him with a good game right now because we have to. he's going to have to lose in the next wave. And you never know. You could get down to one in quiz. He could get out of this. Oof, that hurts. That hurts. Two is bad. Ah, and then he disconnects. So, yeah. Now we can probably hit him with a good game. Why don't you just go, like, just hit the flag, man? Why Why do you gotta leave and then let me, like, hang out and do this? I guess I shouldn't complain. Um, but then you never know what's gonna happen, you know? Something, something weird could happen, and for some reason he's got more slow and end up winning the game when he meant to quit. And then he doesn't get the points because he quit, and I don't get the points because I lose. But hit him with a good game. He's got a level one trickster, uh, level seven in quiz. I'm yeah, I'm down in the slums right now. I gotta really seriously push up. And maybe I should try this deck out again to show a little bit better on how it works because we really never got it set up the way that I wanted to get it set up. But we did end up getting three victories in a row. I definitely recommend you trying it out. It's a little dangerous with Knight Statue and Hex in there, especially if you end up going up against. Oh, I received a magic lantern. Can I, like, look at it? How do I... Okay. I don't know what that is, but alright. Oh, I gotta click on this. Alright, uh, we'll, we'll check it out eventually. But that's gonna be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.